Hello my friends, this is Muhammad. Today I want to walk you through the VI virus isolation through the NDCK cell cells, which is the gold standard for identification of viral pathogens. Let's start. To do the cell count, you need tripon blue stain and also your cell suspension MDCK cells make sure that the cell suspension is well mixed and take 100 microliter you can pour that in a beaker so this is also okay and transfer this 100 microliter to a micro centrifuge tube then take 100 microliter of the tripon blue stain and add that to the 100 microliter of the cell suspension that you had already added to the tube pipe it makes that work takes it for a few seconds pipe it to any microliter of the suspension on the slide load the slide to the hemo cytometer machine select the channel and then run the machine is calculating the cell concentration per milliliter of the suspension note the live cell count which in this case is 137 times 10 to 4 per milliliter for ease of the work uh, pour the cell suspension to a beaker make sure your cells are well mixed they are not settled in now that you know the amount of cell suspension that is required to be seeded in each well, take a repeat pipe and transfer that amount, which in our case is 146 microliter per well, and transfer that. All wells of the first column and one well of the next column, and continue for the remaining wells the same. makes the solution again this will help you maintain uh, the same cell concentration throughout your um, plates next step is to add one milliliter of serum free medium sfm to each of the wells that you just um, inoculated your cell suspension once done put them in the incubator at 37 degrees celsius for overnight I have aliquots, 1 ml aliquots of my samples that I want to uh, do the VI on. So first of all, before everything else, I need to add uh, 165 microliter of the ABC, which is antibiotic cocktail that contains amphotericin B, gentamicin and canamycin. And this will uh, 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 avoid my MDC cell death uh, due to bacterial or fungal contamination.
Now gently work the samples for a few seconds. Then at 1200 RPM for 30 minutes. Okay, so I have my 24 wheel plates uh, that I plated yesterday and they uh, now were incubated for 24 hours. Uh, now, first, I decan the media. Once decanned, I wash the uh, salmon layers with VGM. For that, I add one ml of VGM to each valve. Now I incubate at 37 days Celsius for 20 to 30 minutes. Okay, so I have now my plates after 30 minutes of incubation. Uh, first off, I need to decan the plates. I'm going to do that one by one because I don't want to let them dry for longer time. You can and then infect uh, each well with 150 microliter of the sample. So this is a one email range. I just need to uh, suck up up to 0.6. and add 1.5 which is equal to 150 microliter to each well discard the needle between each sample now you need to inoculate your control to these three control wells and our control is the pure BHIB 150 microliter the control wells Okay, so now one hour is passed uh, from the infection time. To add the VGM overlay, first you need to uh, discard the solution, the samples from the plates. For that you need to use a disposable pipette and gently pipe it off the solution from the wells start from the uh, control well just make sure that you do not uh, disturbing the cell monolayer start from control then pipe it off all the day your samples and then discard this in a 
beaker that has bleach and so it is good for bio safety now it is time for the vgm overlay adding 0.5 milliliter of the vgm overlay to each well that was all from me in this video in another video i will talk about the second phase of the vi the hem agglutination assay uh, for the CPE positive and also the CPE negative samples and I hope you have found this video helpful